step 27 says that you're going to be sewing right around the webbing where you've pinned it. So you're going to sew a big rectangle around your webbing. Okay, you're going to be starting in the middle and you're going to sew next to the outside edge of your webbing all the way up. When you get to where the sideways pin is, you're going to turn the corner. Okay, when you get to the other edge, you're going to turn the corner again all the way down here. Okay, then you turn the corner at your other sideways pin, turn the corner again, and you're going to end up where you started. So you have a big rectangle. Now before you start, you probably have some pins by where your pocket is. Okay, so you're going to take out those pins because when you sew your webbing down, it's going to hold your pocket in place now. So I'm going to put my fabric into my sewing machine. And my directions tell me to sew next to the edge of the webbing. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to put my presser foot down and I'm going to line up the edge of my webbing with, um, with where the plastic of the presser foot and the metal of the presser foot come together. Okay, this is where we practiced with our quarter inch seam allowance. That's where I'm going to be lining it up again. So I have my presser foot down. I'm starting in the middle right next to the edge of my webbing. So I'm going to start sewing a couple of stitches. Okay, and then I have to back stitch. So I'm going to hold the reverse and go back. And then I'm going to sew forwards again all the way until I get to my sideways pin. So I'm sewing right next to the edge of my webbing. Right on top of the pocket. I want to make sure the pocket's on there straight, so I'm stopping to make sure that it doesn't seem like it's wrinkling in there. I'm going to keep going. And I didn't stop where the pocket was. I'm going to stop where my pin is sideways up here, right where my three and a half inch mark is. I'm going to sew all the way up. And now I'm going to stop to do a corner, so I have to leave my needle down in my fabric right in the corner so that way when I lift up my presser foot and I turn my fabric I'm not going to lose my spot. Okay. Now I'm just turning the fabric and I'm going to go straight across the webbing here. So I'm going to go straight and then when I get to the side over here again I'm going to stop with the needle in the fabric, lift up the presser foot, spin my fabric again and then when I put it back down again I want to make sure I am still next to this edge of the webbing. So I'm going to line it up the same way so the webbing's between the plastic and the metal and I'm going to keep sewing. Notice I do not have to take the pins out as I sew because I put them in the middle. I can take those out at the end. You know, this is where I started on the other end. And I'm going to be careful. I'm going to move the, move the pin so I don't run over it. Okay, if it feels like something's getting caught, you can just stop. Flatten it back out again and try again. Okay, I'm sewing all the way down to my other sideways pin. Okay, and when I get down here, I'm going to stop so I don't sew over it. Okay, but that's where I'm going to be turning the corner again. So I'm going to take this pin out. Okay, and you can also see the chalk line from where I originally drew the mark. Okay, and I'm going to leave the needle down, lift up my presser foot, spin my fabric, put it back down, sew across, okay, stop, turn, and back down. 
notice I still have it lined up in the same spot. Okay, and sometimes the fabric has to kind of get rolled to your machine like this so it's not in your way. And now this is where I started. So I'm going to take this pin out so I don't run over it. And I'm going to sew all the way so that I get to back to where I started. And I'm going to backstitch. And now I can take this out of the machine and I should have two thread tails, one from where I started and one from where I ended. You have to do this to both sides of your webbing. So this step will take a while because it's so much sewing. Okay, so I'm going to cut these threads and I'm going to cut the bobbin thread underneath. Okay. And I'll have two tails underneath to cut off. In here. Here. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. So I'm going to remember to take out the pins by the pocket before I start sewing. Okay. And then you're done.